Hello, I'm Dr. Anthony S. Unger. I'm pleased to welcome you to the Sibley Institute of Bone and Joint Health, our nationally recognized center of excellence in musculoskeletal medicine. Orthopedic surgery is involved in keeping people healthy and mobile. We can make a tremendous difference in terms of people's lives. It's so much better to be walking, moving around than sitting in a wheelchair. You can maintain your lifestyle, go to work still, be a productive citizen, be a family member. I met an 87-year-old gentleman the day after his hip replacement surgery, and he told me that his passion was playing golf. But recently, it had gotten too painful for him to even get out of the golf cart. And so he gave up golf and he found over the following months that he was starting to get a little depressed. His physical function was declining even more, and he found that his cognitive function was declining. So he went to the orthopedist, signed up for surgery, and came to us. Now, three days a week, he's back playing golf with his friends, and he feels like he's got a new life again. I really felt that in Washington, D.C., the capital, uh, of the United States that we really needed a center of excellence. And when you have an institute, you have people coming together to collaborate so that they can provide excellence in orthopedic care. We've now put together a team on the surgeon side, the physician side, the rehabilitation side, the research side, the nursing care, and we've got a great physical plant that we work in. So we now have put together all the pieces that we need to create a great program for patients to benefit from. At home, you need to understand the side effects so that it will keep you safe. The nurse navigators are the patient educators. They prepare them for surgery, and they also assist the care team in beginning the discharge planning process before the patient even gets here. Their focus is all on patient first. If they're really bad, call the doctor. Yes. People come here because they've been living with pain for so long or they've had, uh, they've had some conservative treatments and it's finally gotten to a point where their joints are just, they're fa they failed them. They, they want a new life. When any one patient in their family are transported by the OR techs, Everyone greets them. It doesn't matter who's assigned to that patient, but everyone, it's like, welcome, welcome to your new home. You're gonna be spending a few days with us. My mom was brought here, she had her hip surgery, and they individualized her care. They made her part of their family, meaning my team's family, and she did fantastic. The program at Sibley is quite unique because we have a state-of-the-art uh, rehab clinic, and we have a very dedicated professional team. Therapists are quite skilled at getting people to do things they haven't been able to do in a long time. So it's not only the walking and the mobilization of the joint, it's also how am I gonna be able to prepare a meal? How am I gonna be able to get in and out of the car? And in the clinic we have a car so that patients can uh, practice transfers and we can do family training. Uh, we also have a bathroom that's set up so that we can demonstrate to the patient and have them participate in doing like a tub transfer. So we can tailor that to the patient so, so that they have the best possible outcome when they go home. I came to uh, Sibley Hospital because after careful investigation, I found that it was the best place to come for orthopedic surgery. The care that I received was the most compassionate, caring. I felt like it was a warm embrace. In all the time that I worked with Dr. Unger, Dr. Unger told me of his dream. He said, what I would like is a destination for bone and joint health. And I wanted to be at Sibley. And I said, that's fantastic. So I was in the wonderful position of watching his dream turn into a reality. The mission of the center is to provide excellence in orthopedic care, to evolve into uh, a center that can be uh, utilized by the Washington population for all musculoskeletal conditions, to provide the latest orthopedic musculoskeletal treatment options to patients. Good morning, Leonard. How are you? Good to see you. Good, how are you? How are you? Musculoskeletal condition is probably the number one complaint that physicians see in general. 
So if it's anything from your back hurts to you have an arthritic hip, most people are gonna be seeing somebody in the musculoskeletal field. So even though you might say, well, it doesn't bother me now, it probably will catch up to you later on. We'll let you go home today. Oh, wow. All right. It's an aging population. It's a more active population. This takes on a whole new aspect for orthopedic care, which this facility, this institution, uh, recognizes. There are four things that we need to move ahead with over time. The first one is we need to get more people involved with us. In today's world, surgeons, physicians really do need assistance to help them take care of patients. These are physician's assistants, nurse coordinators, nurse practitioners. The second thing that we need is we really need to acquire uh, and evolve into uh, more technology. The third thing is we want to acquire or build what we call a fellowship program, which is a program where physicians are trained in specialties such as spine surgery or joint replacement. The last thing that I think we want to work on is prevention. Uh, we want to have an outreach program where we have educational programs uh, to have our community know about the resources that they have at Sibley Hospital. We really need funds to allow us to expand our program and evolve into an even bigger and more prominent center uh, as time goes on. Join us today in changing people's lives by supporting the Institute of Bone and Joint Health. Your support is so important to us. Thank you.